first our hacker replay i don't know if this will be the last one of deep freeze or not because i might do one next week but we have hacker replay for today we have six matches all submitted from the community we have a few interesting ones some might be playing some hopefully won't be the very first one that we're going to watch today is is the Shiloh one all right, in this match we have Ivan KC, who is the Fenrir, and they are accusing Gusta the King, the Zofia on the enemy team. We'll maybe watch like the first two rounds, and then they specifically targeted rounds six through nine, or maybe five through nine, I can't remember, as the most suspicious ones. The claim that they're making today with Gusta is that they are toggling like crazy. And so we'll watch the first rounds to see kind of like a baseline of how they play. And just to see if like, you know, they're doing stuff that doesn't seem possible. I want to mainly highlight this one because toggling is a very or very big issue right now in the Siege community. A lot of cheaters have cheats where they can basically just click a button and it'll turn off their cheats. So like one round they'll play without cheats, one round they'll play with cheats. Um, and by doing that, it makes it harder for people to know if they're cheating or not, because like, oh, they popped off this round, but they didn't pop off the other round, so they're probably not cheating. Stuff like that. Oh, it's a Team Secret skin. I've never seen that one before. He's actually checking spots. <laughs> A little weirdly and choppily, but he is checking them. <coughs> okay. He did see the mute, so not surprising he went for like the pre-fire there. Okay. I don't think we can Maybe see that, but it looked like he almost pinged the bookshelf. Which, I mean, Kaid is behind there and took a lot of damage from, I assume, like the Thermite or the Kali. So they probably know that he's back there, like someone would have called it out, but... That was a good flick. Triple off the bat. I wouldn't say anything out like outrightly was suspicious so far. After this round, I think we'll skip forward to get to the point that the submitter was trying to make in the uh, file. Because they specifically targeted instances in the last four rounds. You know, like, this is why I'm submitting the match. I know this is gonna sound nitpicky, but I'll say, so last round he was like checking every door, every common corner, and like, you know, thoroughly checking everything. In this round I find it just weird like how he's checking things, cause like his aim here isn't good, like if someone's over here he's just dead. He's aiming at like floor level instead of a bit higher in case they're crouched or standing. But, like, he is checking it differently than before. And then, like, a very poor fashion, which, just so you know, that, like, that is the main reason they were accused, is in the file, the guy's just, like, some rounds, like, he's really good, and some rounds he's just garbage. And, like, his recoil control there was awful. Whereas in the previous rounds, like, he was shooting at stuff and the gun didn't move at all. But that was, like, the main reason for the submission. Round 5 and round 6, you'll notice something. We'll show you. Technically, he could be swapping the controller slash keyboard with someone in person. Okay, I'm going to just reply to this specifically because people always say this whenever I'm like spectating or like doing hacker replay and it could be someone who's toggling. No one fucking does that. 
if you were to get a group of like a million people, maybe, maybe one of them would be like, yeah, me and my friends sit next to each other on the computer and we swap between playing, like taking turns or like we swap between controller and keyboard. Like no one fucking does that. Okay, so he said in round five, this guy has insane recoil control, and then round six, he has no recoil control, which we already kind of saw with round one and two. As Zofia, he was spraying effortlessly, and then in this round, or in the next round, he was, like, spraying all over the place. So. Also, things to note, because he said this round is very different than next round. Um, in this round, he is, like, quick peeking, quick leaning a bunch. We'll see how he performs next round. Just keep in mind, like, this is ranked. This guy's not gonna, like, fuck around and have two different personalities in a ranked game. He's gonna try to be as good as possible. So he hasn't really landed any shots, but his recoil control is very good. For Alibi, the MX4 Storm. I got all three batteries. Okay. Okay. So he said this round, like I said, um, he could control MX4 Storm seamlessly, which or effortlessly, which he did, 100%. He did, and then he says in this round. He can't control it at all. Like, his recoil goes all over the place. He also does not have a gun in his hand. What is he doing? You guys think he's cheating? <laughs> He's hitting the tab. I don't, I don't know if there's a thing. Oh. My boy's Naruto running. Oh, no, he's fixed. Okay. Kinda. I don't know if. Oh, no, he has attachments. Okay, so this round he should have a lot of trouble controlling recoil. Allegedly. Oh, it just doesn't have the sight. I can see that the sight's floating on the bailiff. Like, he has the revolver, but somehow he's making rotates. But the sight is just bugged. It's flying around. Little Tinkerbell flowing next to him. Mixford doesn't have that much recoil to begin with, though. So that's the whole point, is that if he can control the recoil effortlessly in last round, but then this round he can't control it at all, then that's a, that's a problem. It goes in line with the whole toggling thing. Little Prisma. Shoot the thermite that's planting right in front of him. Genius. Old strategy con. Okay, so yeah, his recoil control is significantly worse. Granted, he was prone there, and I'll admit, I'll be the first to admit when you're prone and you're shooting a gun, the recoil is just like a crapshoot. But he had so much horizontal recoil that he couldn't control, which. If we're going off of like the whole toggling theory, it does go like, okay, last round he controlled it like it was nothing. This round he can't control it at all. Like, what gives? 
a good player who can control recoil doesn't suddenly lose their ability to control recoil. He said, sometimes that they'll drone out empty rooms, other times they just go in without a care in the world. Noted as round seven. Okay, so we did watch like, the two attack rounds. He droned it out normally and like actually checked the building. He is right. This round he just left his drone outside. So that is a difference. I know it doesn't mean anything, but like if we are going off of like he's acting different round to round. The first two rounds he shot that window in case if there was a spawn peak. This round he didn't. Doesn't really mean much, but like I mean He did uh he did act differently. The way he's checking mezzanine and fireplace is weird to me as well. The first round he did it like the best. He actually checked every corner and checked carefully. This time he's just like quick leaning for the sake of quick leaning and not really checking much. This is also weird. <clears throat> How he's clearing out up top. Especially as a hard breacher. He is ace and he's roam clearing without a drone. Just like, or not just that, he's gonna run in. Okay, he reacted to Thunderbird, but the ping was too late. I think it was Thermite on the camera was like, Thunderbird's pushing, but it was too late. I guess we'll just watch the next two rounds because he doesn't specify this, but he says, he says, sometimes he aims at enemies through walls, but we also skipped four rounds, so maybe I missed that. He didn't aim at any enemies through walls so far. And then he says round 9 is the most suspicious, which if he is toggling, which I don't know if he is or not yet. If he is toggling, that would make the most sense in round 9 when you're about to lose. Kind of want to make sure you win, so if he toggles the most there, then it checks out. What's weird is that he's awful, but still manages to win some rounds somehow. Well, that was the whole point of the file, was that he's like, he's very inconsistent. Like, some rounds he's really good, some rounds he's just fucking terrible. And I fully agree, like, the first two rounds I was like, okay, this guy's actually pretty good. He's just controlling the M762 like it's nothing, he's doing well. And then, since then, he just seems like he's brain dead. I did not know you could shoot someone on the ladder there. Hold on. Can we all agree that he 100% should have, like, either team killed or hurt the frost at least here? Like. He's, like, shooting her directly in the back and does no damage to her. That's insane. That one was fine. That one was fine. A little like weird movement, but like it was fine. That was a little weird. I can't tell if I'm just overanalyzing this or if it it is true. He does like a spray across like from right to left, left to right, but when he goes from left to right, he stops on the ace to down him and then goes. Like he stops there and then keeps going. This is a little weird. And then he seems to be like, oh, I didn't know someone was there. Actually he did aim at them through the wall there? Perfectly. Hmm. Eh, not perfectly. Let's let's rewind and see if he could actually like see the ace. Because as far as I could tell, he couldn't see the ace at all. But it, it did look like he just like stopped on the ace and downed him and then continued on. So he sprays. Actually, I think you can see the ace there for a little bit.
You can see like his shoulder. So does he flick there because he sees the shoulder or does he flick there because he any potential walls? Oh, probably shoulder. So probably fine. According to the text document from the submitter, the last round is the most suspicious. He said, there's no way he should have killed me with whatever shot in round nine, so we'll see what it is. I do agree with the whole, you know, sometimes he's good, sometimes he's bad. Toggling is always a possibility. Toggling is a lot harder to track, obviously, than being a blatant cheater, but... Also, I'm not 100% sure that they actually are cheating. I guess we'll find out here. They're running the F2. On PC, this gun is absolutely awful to control. Now, if you post about it on TikTok like I did, every single kid on TikTok will tell you about how easy it is to control, actually. And then you tell them about how console has severely less recoil, and they're like, that doesn't mean make a difference. It does. Console gets 30% less recoil. Making these guns not as bad. But already from like just how he shot that window, this guy doesn't have good enough recoil control for it. He shot the window and like half the bullets hit the, uh, the like top frame. Why would you explode that if you're about to walk up the stairs? Even aiming it. Okay, so he's pinging where Goyo last was, and he thinks he's still there, which means that it's looking better for him in terms of, like, a walls accusation, because if he had walls, I think he would have noticed. Now, can we quickly talk about how he just stares at Thunderbird and doesn't react to her? So he's looking at the wall. Thunderbird walks right in front. Thunderbird also, like, looks at him. <laughs> and neither of them shoot each other. Mm. May maybe no cheats, then, if he's not even reacting to a Thunderbird in front of him. That was bad recoil control, but that was fine. Wait, that was a headshot? Hold on, what? Zoom and enhance. Okay, so Goyo's running. This is a headshot. Do we yell at Ubisoft for this? Or do we yell at the Twitch? Or do we yell the Varsity Gaming Charm? Because everyone knows that once you get this charm, you basically get aimbot, and it feels like that's what this guy has right now. If you want to get your aimbot, just sub to my Twitch channel. It's free with Twitch Prime, or you can use $5. This is the annoying part about Hacker Replay and like uh, accusations on Siege. This could either be one of three things. This could either be one, a replay bug and the replay is not accurately showing what twitch was aiming at two it could be an issue with like lag and how replay system works so the whole replay system is taken from ivan's perspective because he's the one who submitted it so on ivan's screen twitch would be aiming up here but on twitch's screen they'd be aiming somewhere else because of ping and all the like computational lag and then the third issue is that there are cheats that do this where you can aim that high up and you get a headshot. So it's like, there are three different possibilities here and we have absolutely zero way to know which one it could be. Soft aim cheats are incredibly popular. Uh, soft aim cheats are the ones where no matter where you aim, it'll move the bullet so that it hits them in the head. So a lot of the times when you see people just like spraying at the ceiling and they get headshots anyways, that's silent aim or soft aim or 
I call it aim assist sometimes. It has a million different names. Unfortunately, we really don't have an answer to what this is. Given that it was the first time it's evidently happened, I would be more willing to say a match replay bug because if it happened every single time, then you could be like, oh yeah, for sure, it's like soft aim. But I don't think it's happened once yet. I do agree that the kill was bullshit. So, don't think he should have got it. And someone's pinging the a zombie. And he dies. Uh, I guess we'll look at his stats, see if that says anything. Goes to the king. Okay. What, what is happening here? I know R6 Tracker has had probably the largest amount of issues it's ever had before uh, this season. Um, just to paint a picture, I feel like we can all agree that Gusta would at least be like Platinum Plus, right? Given what they were doing. The, I guess, concern I have and the confusion I have is that this was a bronze to gold lobby. So why were they in this lobby? Silver. I'm like, stuck in silver. Bronze. Like hard stuck bronze. So why were they in this lobby? I mean, it's a little weird that he's in such a low elo lobby, but I mean, it's also Siege as matchmaking, right? So like, it'd just be terrible at its job. Because he definitely wasn't a bronze to like gold player. He was probably platinum plus if if not higher. My guess is just probably not cheating, but I guess just smurfing really hard. I definitely don't think there was enough evidence to say he was cheating. Yes, some of the things were suspicious, but we could also chalk it up to replay bugs, uh, perspective bugs, whatever, so inconclusive. He also said in the text document that the guy was aiming at people through walls. I never saw that once. It could have been in like the three rounds that we skipped. We might have been unlucky and skipped rounds that were crucial for that, but I didn't see that once. Match number two is on Coastline. This one, I believe, should be a bit more obvious, but the reason I downloaded it is because I was confused. This comes from someone uh, we've seen in chat before a few times, Killer Cam, longtime sub, and he's accusing Doka Washed, the Cav. He says that it's blatantly obvious that he's cheating. The reason why I downloaded it and wanted to look at it was if it's a blatant obvious cheater, Nine rounds seems like a very high amount of rounds to go. So, let's find out what happens. Um, I will say Ash ban on blue is insane. I'm also 90% sure that the Cav is cheating just based off of, like, the weird movement and gun that's already been happening. Or, like, gun... I don't know how to describe it. When they were shooting with the pistol, it looked like it was 100% hip fire. I don't, uh, I don't like what they're doing. Well, they're definitely cheating. Because they're just looking at them through the wall. So how does this go to round nine? I wonder if this is just like a new player with cheats or something. Because like, I think they have to be walling. They were just staring at everyone through the wall and like, trying to line it up a bit. Don't you love it when they just like, prove your point? So, obviously walling, 100%. There's absolutely no way to refute that they they aren't walling. So we'll skip to round 6, and then we'll skip to round 9, because I just want to know how this goes to overtime. What an angle. Why don't people use this angle more often?
All right. We already had the proof they're cheating. They did it there as well. They were holding the angle on Buck, and then Buck walked away, and they looked away, so it's obvious. Let's go to round six. Oh, wait. They're actually down, like, two to three here. I believe they said this round was super obvious because they just hunted down the pulse. Find out. Joke is in the lead of the lobby with eight kills. Makes sense. They have walls. Of course, they're going to know he's in there. They also felt like they looked at sunrise the entire time they were jumping in the window. Obviously cheating. I think we just skipped around nine now, right? Yeah. I just want to know if they lost or not. All right, last round. One of them, one of the cheaters team. Wait. Oh, the cheater left. Wait, hold. What? Did I, did I miss something? What happened? Round eight. Round eight. He's there. What if they just disconnect? They also don't know the map layout because they were just trying to aim at the whoever that is sledge through the hard wall and bathroom. Let's just lose. He loses this gunfight and then leaves because of it. I'm gonna be very disappointed. I guess they just leave after that, out of shame, perhaps? Uh, they're still in the round, they're still in the round, spectating. And round ends, they're still here, so they leave in the last round. That's really weird. I assume the cheaters team loses. Banned during round nine? Um, no, because... At the year 9 panel, they specifically said, starting in year 9, they'll finally be able to ban people mid-match and cancel the match because of the, the banned person. Oh, wait, I didn't even realize. He was in the, like, drone phase. And then when I skipped forward, he got removed. But that usually means ping. Because you can't be, as far as I'm aware, mid-match, you can't just be banned and yanked out because I have reported people before. Like with Ubisoft, and they've been banned mid game, but they still finished the game out and then they get banned. So he probably just lagged out. The legit team won, so all is right in the world, I guess. Match number two, obvious cheater. Match number three, run right into it Clubhouse. In this match, we have Expert Wind 43471, who's accusing Siege. That person's not in this lobby. I think they submitted a wrong match. We skip it. Wrong match. Chalet is our next match instead. In this match, we have Maddie H, who's accusing two people. The first one, we probably won't have to watch too long. It's D. Lee Wardlow, who is their teammate. They said they are blatantly cheating. And they said Nunchuck on the enemy team is subtly cheating. We'll watch D. Lee until we get proof, and then we'll move over to Nunchuck and see if they were also cheating. It is a six round match, so we don't have too much to watch. Oh, he saw the toes. Okay, I was gonna say, so far I'm not seeing super suspicious kills, I'm just seeing someone walking in and killing people who aren't ready. And then he aimed at the rook through the wall, which you could argue, well, he could hear him. Uh, but then he also aimed at the alibi through the wall, which he can't hear. So, very likely already cheating. I want to see from Rook's perspective when Zofia ran in how he reacted, because if he stares at her through the wall, then I think we have proof of both of them cheating. It looked like he did. Uh, not really. 
Oh, he obviously is tracking people through walls. He's looking at the alibi and then look back to the corner. Yeah, he's cheating. So, D. Lee Wardlow, cheating. Obvious. Now, let's watch Mr. Nunchuck and see uh, how he performs. I was going to say, he could probably hear the rook rotating. That's fine. And then he just aimed at the alibi through the wall and aimed at their head. And I was like, well, I won't be able to hear that, so... Pretty obvious that D. Lee is cheating. I want to see if Nunchuck, like, maybe toggles on a bit or something. I don't know. Like, he's just good. If you look at someone tracking people through walls and you think it's just that they're good, boy, I got a, I got a bridge to sell you because you're clearly gullible. There's a difference between being a good rusher and then standing still and looking at someone through a wall and then being like, wait, I'm looking at them through a wall and having to reposition your aim. But I guess I guess most of chat won't know that. You guys don't deal with cheaters as much as we do. Luckily for you, it just destroyed all the Hibana pellets. Luckily for you guys, being hard stuck silver means you face less cheaters. Unluckily for me, being in high level, higher level lobbies means I face them a lot more. This is a little bit buggy, but they really just Cali lanced all 16 pellets. Unfortunate for the attacking team. At the very least, he is not as obvious as the Zofia if he is cheating at all. He is just sitting in a corner, staring. This is much like when I watch Ben, and Ben has no idea what to do, and he just stares at a random corner. But unlike Ben, he has a reaction time. Shot his teammates freeze for some reason. That boy ain't got no recoil control. Well, he very clearly doesn't have any type of cheats that would help him aim. I think that is obvious to all of us. It doesn't rule out walls. You can always be walling and be terrible. We've seen plenty of cheaters who wall and are terrible. Because they just download walls, they don't download uh, aimbot. We'll watch a little bit more. We'll see if anything changes. Cheaters almost have to be terrible or they wouldn't cheat. That is true. I think that's the thing that a lot of people forget. They're like, this person's clearly bad. He's not cheating. It's like, bro, so many cheaters are just downright terrible at Siege. Like, if you're a good player, you don't download cheats or get cheats because you're good. It's the same reason, like, anyone who uses Zim on console is by default a bad player. Because if they were good, they wouldn't need to get Zim. They would just use a controller and destroy people. But they don't. They have to get Zim to have what little advantage they do have. Or I guess it's not little. It's a, it's a pretty large advantage. He's, he's locking down this staircase, by the way. He put like four goos there, barricaded off every single door. He got that shit unlocked. Is that the beta skin? Yes, it is. It's the beta fire skin. Pretty bad skin, but it is a rare one. Although, I think for a little bit, they were giving it out to literally anyone who wanted it. You just have to redeem it through the Ubisoft Connect page. Bro, this guy's aim... He won two of the fights? Fifteen seconds. He has no idea where Diffuser is. Ash has no idea where they are. They're fucking lost. They only just got to the breach wall. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say he's not cheating. 
let me pull up the file and see if there's a specific call out to a round as to why they would accuse him, but I don't know why they would. He specifically said, watch round five. He tracks people through walls. Let's find out. Where's Valkyrie for reference? Valkyrie's downstairs in the basement. Okay, I'm very curious how this plays out. It looks like he's... He's like using backwards hands because he is his movement and aim do not look like they're synced together. <laughs> Waiting for Fun. He saw Jaeger peek out with the leg. Or he is so indecisive. He he keeps looking back and forth. He's like, do I go here? Do I go there? I I don't know. Yes, yeah, so that's Valkyrie on the bomb there. He didn't track him. That was like... Honestly, that was him just being indecisive and not sure where to go. This guy ain't cheating. Flashes on teammate. The fact that he has the beta skin is weird to me, given that he seems like he was just born two minutes ago and is only just learning how to move around. Now, was that lucky or was that planned? Because the rest of the round, he did not play like that. He looked like a fucking newborn deer trying to just stand up. And then there, he like quick leans one taps him with the pistol. Could have been lucky. You know, every noob has their day. He keeps looking at them through walls. I can understand what you mean by like just his erratic movement and aim, but like, I don't think this is him looking at them through walls because i have seen obviously every cheater is different every player is different i have seen tons of like actual cheaters who are really bad at siege with walls and this doesn't look like he's looking at them it just looks like he is lost and just not sure what to do like there you could be like okay that was a little weird but like he didn't hit a single bullet on Jaeger, and then he only kills Jaeger because Jaeger peeks him, and then he sees his leg and he flicks over. Which again, like this whole pistol play, the constant like moving back and forth, it doesn't strike me as someone who has walls, it strikes me as someone who has no idea what to do. Like I've seen, I've also seen my friends who are newer players to the game, and how they move around and how they like try to make decisions. And it looks just like this. They're just like, keep going back and forth, back and forth. And they're just like, do I go? That barricade's down, by the way. He can see Valk very clearly. It's just a visual bug. Um, I don't I don't think he's cheating. It's possible. Like, this could genuinely be such a terrible player that even with walls, it still doesn't look like they're cheating. I don't think they're cheating. Okay, so this was the obvious cheater. Uh, 2.67 KD in standard at a level 13 account. Yeah, he's cheating. And then this was the other person. 0.82 KD in nine matches of standard.
He played in Steel Wave. He got a plot rank. Played a little bit in Crimson Heist. Hasn't played since. Um, or he'd play like a few casual games each season, but that's about it. I don't know. I don't think he was cheating. I can understand where people are coming from in chat where they say it looks like he's looking at them through walls, but I think he was just genuinely lost and dumb. But I could be wrong. Moving on to match number four, we have Clubhouse. And in this match, we have Areola Lover, who is accusing their own teammate, KFC Eater 2. He's cheating. Now he's just staring at them through the wall. See, this is what... This is what we're used to seeing when someone has walls. Where they just straight up track people. This is, I would guess, someone who was probably like gold and then downloaded walls. Whereas, like, for the last match, if they were walling, that is just genuinely someone who's, like, bronze in the game using walls. But, yeah, he is blatantly cheating. Let's skip to the last round. KFC Eater does win. Areola Lover does not team kill them. But, maybe they didn't see. Let's see if they finish the game, like, 15-3. and three. Surprised they didn't just shoot them through the window there. They just looked at them like three times. Oh, no, they're definitely not gold. This is like a bronze player because he thought there was a window up there. He went up there to see if there was a way that he could see the people who were outside by construction. And he realized there wasn't. This is someone playing literally just off of walls. He has no idea on the map layout. He does end up probably acing this round. How can you be so bad that you die with walls? Because a lot of people like this who have walls just get severe tunnel vision and don't pay attention to anything other than the person that they're aiming at. He does ace. This is going to be the same issue with Deimos. When Deimos comes out, people who play him are just going to tunnel vision so hard on the one person they're tracking that they're not going to pay attention to anything else around them and they're going to die a lot. So, this is a prelude to Deimos. AFC Eater 2. Well, they've already been banned for cheating and somehow are playing again? Oh no, that was to... Or three days ago. Wait, but when was this match? Wasn't it... Oh no, okay. The match was from before that. He got banned after that match. Okay, that makes more sense. I thought he... I thought he had been banned before and got unbanned. So he got banned the day after that match. I actually might have even been within like an hour after. Because this match was at almost midnight on the 28th. And he got banned on the 29th. The last match for today. Oregon. I think this has gone long enough that we will not download another match for that one match that was uh, submitted incorrectly. We'll just do five today. In this match, we have ARS Owen, so the Ash, and they are accusing two people. Gonzalez15598, and then Stiff Cock, the Mira. We have what is apparently their real names. But they said in the text document, they're like, I think this is their real names. We'll find out. Do you have any tips for a new player to siege? Apparently download cheats, because that's what half these guys are doing. Again, I want to know what is bringing these like terrible people to siege. And they're like, I'm just going to cheat right away. Because a lot of these people who are cheating are brand new players. Like They've never played siege before. It's evident with how they don't know map layouts. They don't know... Uh, like where windows are or anything like that. They're just cheating. So, I don't know who is bringing them to siege. But they are coming just to cheat. This Mira is one of the two accused cheaters. And they don't know really where to put their mirrors or how to put them down properly. This is... I know it's minor, but this is like 
a pretty big indicator to tell how good or bad someone is at the game. Which, I know it sounds dumb, but if you put your mirror that far away from the edge, you're probably like a copper player. Same goes with this mirror. It's not as bad. This I'd say this is a silver mirror. Because it's not, you know, super far to the right. But it's not far enough to the left. So, at the very least, they're not great players. But they got accused of cheating, so we'll see what they end up doing. Uh, thank you for the gifted stuff from Animal. Oh, you gifted it to Evan? Oh my god. He's a real boy now. Am I sensing a little bit of walls on that mirror already? It's possible. He, he adjusted his aim as soon as Kathy Tao sprinted over to peek him. They're already not looking good for them. Oh, oh uh, he's, he's adjusting his aim based on whether the buck is crouching or not. Guys, I think we might have a cheater. Fuck, there's two of them. It's hard to walk both of them. Oh, that was a normal reaction. Probably walling, but that one itself wasn't inherently suspicious. Hmm. You could argue that was from the mirror, but I think it's pretty obvious to say that he was tracking him. But so he knows that they already went into the bedroom. Also, despite the, the match replay bugging out, the uh, the mirror is in fact on a reinforcement. See, this is the thing with a lot of cheaters. They're really bad like this where they just tunnel vision like crazy. But yes, the stiff cock guy is 100% cheating. He's just tracking them through the walls. Pretty sure he just pre-fired that. It's hard to tell because the outlines get all fucky with the bomb, but I'm pretty sure he just licked over pre-firing. Uh, you could argue that he saw the hand, but we already saw them tracking people through walls, so it's fairly obvious. This is also apparently in a champ level lobby because the Zofia on blue team has a champ background. They are in high ranked elo. Watch another round, and then we'll go watch the last round, because it should be more than obvious enough from these two. Bro, he doesn't even know that you can't throw proximity alarms outside. He just tried to do that and was confused as to why he couldn't. to pop off here. Probably gonna be stiff car because he's about to roll up on someone in meeting. He's cheating, like he aimed at the sandbags. He knew he was behind there. He was waiting for him to get off drone to then shoot him, but because he's in a lobby that he doesn't belong in, because this is probably Diamond or Champ, his reaction time and aim is terrible versus a guy who actually knows what he's doing, and he gets killed. So, for sure, Capcan cheating. Gonzalez is probably cheating too, but we'll just get a little bit more proof.
gonna be annoying. Surprised that in this lobby they didn't notice that it's a fake alibi since he has attachments on his gun. Bro, he's bad too. Um We'll just go to the last round to see if Gonzalez does anything crazy. The stiff car guy we know for sure is cheating. He's just not that good. So th I think these two are obviously together um, because they are running in together. And they have been suspicious the entire match. They're probably both cheating. He tried to pre-fire him without having seen him yet. Bro, he has walls. He is evidently walling and tracking. Or not tracking, but like walling. And he lost the gunfight. That is insane. They said that this isn't guaranteed, but they were like, I think this is their real names. Ranked 1.5 KD, Plat 1, with 34 matches. I'm willing to believe it. And then they said this was the other guy. Same, like, almost stat line, almost same level as well. Only two level difference, few less matches, higher KD. So yeah, they're probably duo queue together, cheating together, and honestly, they, they fucking suck. <laughs> they are very obviously walling. I think anyone with a brain can see that, but they just can't win their gunfights. Actually, I didn't even pay attention. Did they win that match? I think they must have, right? Yes, they win the match. Unfortunately, bad players with cheats can still win against champs. That's it for Hacker Replay today. Like I said, I don't know if I'll do Hacker Replay for next week. I probably will because I have like Tuesday is supposed to be my Mozzie video. And then Wednesday I can just do Hacker Replay. Thursday I can do new season stuff. Like, I'm sure I'll probably do another Hacker Replay. We just didn't have one last week because we had so much stuff with the test server that I had to push out. I needed to put it out on Wednesday. Um, but yeah, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled hacker replay. Apparently, next week's will be a, like, you know, a, a, what's it called? A deep freeze hacker replay. It's still going to be cheaters from this season. I don't know how true this is, but apparently there are already a lot of cheaters on the test server, meaning they already have cheats that work for next season, which means that next season we are probably going to face a lot of cheaters and have a lot of submissions. So I guess look forward to that.